funny again. We're not gonna just. We're gonna try and stick to a theme of doing multiple guns at once. We're gonna do like a black and gray episode. Pretty today. much, yeah. We're gonna do some. Yeah, for once, some guns that I'm really fond of. Yeah, fairly fond of one, but not hey, hey, so fond of the color these. comes out in this, but obviously there's a pretty massive difference between these two guns. <laughs> yes, uh, what we have here, we're uh, going to review the JLS Scar L and the D-Boy Scar L. Uh, let's go ahead and start with the JLS here. Well, uh, this is gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the JLS Scar L. Um, the jail, the scar. Why don't you give him some history on them? Uh, it was originally developed back in 2006 by uh, FN Herstal. Um, was adopted as part of the SCAR program, which is Special Operations Forces uh, Combat Assault Sorry. Rifle, right. and uh, was the only actual large shipment. Was back in 2009 to the U.S. Army Rangers in Afghanistan, and they pretty much ceased procurement after a little time. But they basically let all the U.S. SOCOM units adopt if they need to at any point in time. So. They're out in limited numbers, and only to special forces units, essentially, who feel like they want it. Now, this one is the JLS version. Um, JLS is a lesser-known airsoft manufacturer. They tend to specialize in electronic pistols and spring rifles. Yeah. Um, this one... Um, wow, I don't even know where to go from this. Yeah. It's a very big disappointment. Um... When you think of a scar, you're thinking, great, I'm going to have a scar. It's going to be something cool to have. Well, let's put something perspective here, though. JLS produces primarily spring and electric blowback guns. Now, if you were some other company... Now, mind you, just like, like electric blowback pistols. Oh, sorry, pistol. Electric blowback pistols, which is, you know, really... It's basically a spring pistol. It's not really worth anything in the first place. And so this is kind of like... I don't know. What do they have? Like three, four guns out, like AEGs out, and the, yeah, they have this, the J, the uh, FN two thousand. They have an RX four Beretta Storm. Yeah, which is kind of a strange selection, but uh, basically, I, I guess I can't really fault them for not having any experience whatsoever in the AEG department. But obviously, the first offerings did not quite come up to par in the market. Yeah, this one, uh, the lower on this is straight out of an M4 design. Yeah. Um, it's nowhere near the actual SCAR design. Now, yes, the SCAR was based on an M4 lower in some respect. Right, it was adapted to the, the pistol grip and the magwell, essentially. Exactly. But the controls were obviously adapted to a newer design, so I don't know if that... Yeah, no ambidextrous controls it's on that. Only controls on <laughs> this side. But the selector switch is, is the same as an M16 and M4 on the three-way like this, whereas the actual SCAR has, has safe burst and full auto like this, which is much easier to do with the right. thumb. Uh, the other thing on this one, uh, it does have adjustable cheek rest, and there's a pin that you have to remove. You can lift it to the first section and then put the pin back in. The problem is the pin is very problematic to put back in. Um, and you see there's a little hole right here. I don't know how well you can see it. You have to get the pin through that blind like that. Yeah. It just sits loosely. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's I mean, it tough. doesn't fall. So, I mean, you don't have too much to work on if you lose Basically, it. Basically, it's worthless, though. <laughs> it's just totally worthless. Now, it does have a three-position stock. But it also sounds like crap. Sounds like a uh, cheap piece of plastic I've ever heard. And then it is a folding stock. Uh, the problem with the folding stock on the SCAR is it doesn't really allow you yeah, room to use it. it is, so. The actual SCAR, there's actually enough room to stick your finger down there. So I guess they didn't really calculate properly on that, I expect. Right. Um, the other thing, it does have a charging handle that looks like it might be ambidextrous, yeah. but it's not. And it only moves about an inch to expose yeah, the hop of adjustment. Yeah, it's not supposed to do that. Um, now it does have full quad rails, which is nice. I mean, it's nice to have more rail space on the gun, but that's probably the only positive point I yeah, see. It's supposed to rails on anything. Yeah, exactly. You put rails <laughs> on a turd. That's like a new in the market. You put rails on a turd and it doesn't yeah. look positive. Um, no, tactical turd. <laughs> there, there you go. Yeah. Tactical turd. Um, tactical turd. This one is at the full carbine length. Um, now, mind you, the barrel ends here. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, yeah. It's just the barrel extension is still there. Now, the interesting yeah. place is where the battery goes in this. You actually have yeah. to pop a pin out, which Cypher is going to show you right now. Out. And then the barrel goes right down the upper receiver, right there. If it's a stick battery, which yeah. is BS, because <laughs> that's like the worst battery type ever. It only fits an 8.4 stick. It does not have enough physical space to fit a 9.6. Uh, it doesn't have any It seems like space. it could, though, if they had just thought that through ahead of time, because it's got a rectangular slot. Right. So old uh, small-type battery or mini-type battery should fit fine, but it doesn't. 
Now, if you were going to get one of these and you were going to do some kind of upgrading to it, not that I'm suggesting you do, you could technically run the wires outside. Yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. So, not a big deal. Um, so those are some benefits. Uh, the other thing is it is M4 magazine, just like the real SCAR. Uh, and this is based off the SCAR L, which shot the 5.56, where the SCAR H right. was the 7.62. These all use the same TM style right. magazine. And so it will same. accept, let me reach over here, a P mag, just so you can see. I mean, it fits multiple magazines. And you can see the color difference from Dark Earth to... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's Faded Dark Earth. That's actual Faded Dark Earth, mind you. Magpul's yeah. Faded Dark Earth. This is uh, baby shit yellow. <laughs> all that you could classify this as. Dried baby crap banana. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone as a kid knows what that color is. And then his um, handle... Yeah, which does... very well with it. This it, here comes with this gun, mind you. And it's kind of, you know... Flesh. Fleshy colored? I'm not really sure why. Um, it's Pops a out. built-in bipod. It's, it's kind of crappy, but... It, it works, it, you know. It's a pretty terrible replica of that uh, foregrip, but it works. But that's the worst. But who, who made that? <laughs> Some other country made this or something? It's the other thing it does offer is flip up uh, front and rear sights. Which uh, are also really, really cheap. Um, not the best in the world, obviously. They're, they're not even on lockdown at all. There's no adjustment at all. Well, there looks like an adjustment, but well, not really. it doesn't really move. Yeah, it doesn't move at all. Um, no. This one, sure. run, this one comes in at $155, and yes, that's accurate, $155. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not exaggerating on that. Um, the other thing is you can't really do any upgrades on it. It is a version 2 gearbox, but it's proprietary to this gun. Uh, yeah, there's no try fitting another one in there either. <laughs> yeah, there's no other guns that use this specific gearbox. So trying to specific for it. exactly yeah. trying to do an upgrade on it, you may be able to make some gears work. You may be able to make some springs work, but why would you do that? Generally speaking, something else is going to break as a result because exactly. everything else is crap. Exactly. So um, generally, on this one, it's if you're looking for something because nothing else is available, no. I still wouldn't buy it. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> no. <laughs> That, that's that's pretty much it, it. We say no, and what part of no don't you understand? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said the only actual benefit is this. Uh, most scars in the market have a problem with this, where this locks in place. It's almost tiny little tab that shows there. So they actually made out of metal, which is nice, but obviously it's just pop metal, so if you drop it, it's probably going to shatter yeah. anyway. <laughs> I don't know what shatter first, the plastic or the metal? <laughs> I don't know. Because the, the plastic does feel very cheap on it. It's, it's just, it's not... Comfortable, it's. I can barely stick my finger in there. Yeah, exactly. What the heck That's what she said. That. Oh. Now, this one, this is the D Boys. Give me that. Just, yeah, just give me that. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get your turn. Whatever. You, you, when the reviewers are arguing over who's holding the gun, you know there's a problem. Uh, this is the D Boys Scar L. Uh, this does come with a barrel extension. So you can make it the, the uh, additional barrel extension right. and initial flash rider. Right, so you can make it the standard carbine length. This is a sitting at the CQB length. Um, the battery in this one goes in the rear stock, which is a lot nicer. And there's a push button here, you flip it up, and there you go. It's easier to get really to. really nice to get to. That's yeah. probably the easiest I've ever seen a battery coming in and out of the gun. Right. The only issue is, it, again, it will only fit an 8.4. There's not enough space in there to fit a 9.6. Um, if you do upgrades, you could probably fit a, a LiPo in there, which I'll worry about getting this battery back in later. There you go. Um, does have flip up front and rear sights. This actually has a lot of Yeah, it's locked up close, but should have, because if this is down, which I just locked it forward. If this is down, you don't want to catch it on something and have it pop up in the exactly. way. So it locks in place, and you're good. Exactly. Now, and there are fully adjustable rear sight. Absolutely. And it's also ambidextrous on the mag release. There's one on each side. So which this one has a, a fake ambidextrous. Yeah, it just has, just has... It looks display. like it does, but it doesn't. It just it doesn't do anything. Right. Now, this also comes with the vertical foregrip that you see on here, which is actually very sturdy. Very comfortable. Standard knight style for program. Um, the charging handle actually has full That's, range. Yeah, it's full range. Yeah. Um, the handle itself is removable, and you can put it on the other side to make it ambidextrous. And it does expose the hop up, which is a different hop up than standard M4s. Yeah. It's a nice, um, a nice overall, D Boys did a very good job with this, I think. Yeah. Very nice overall. Um, as the traditional design goes, the lower is polymer and the upper is metal. So obviously to see a difference here because this is just anodized and anodized fade dark earth is obviously not the same as plastic. Right. But the adjustable sides are nice, clicks nice. Absolutely. You can't even hear anything here, but side to side, up and down, everything works. Pinhole sides, uh, sling points on here, more sling points than this over here. Yeah. 
slot, slot, uh, ring. And and again, it, it is also a uh, three points, uh, three point adjustable stock and yeah. folding. And as this well. actually, this actually adjusts. There's actually points where this adjusts. So, so you adjustable cheek rest, which yeah. is nice as well. And then folds. This one also kind of gets like, but this is an excuse because this stock is actually bigger to fit the battery in it. Right. Which this isn't to scale, technically speaking, but obviously you know they got to fit a battery in there. Right. They yeah. actually adjust too, which is the other big difference because other scars to have a battery in the stock don't have an adjustable stock. It just kind of sits out there. And exactly. This one works. Yeah. Now, just to show you a difference, uh, Cypher, why don't you go ahead and pop that in full auto and pull the trigger, just so they can hear it. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a regular AEG. And with the JLS, what? it's not, uh, the battery apparently is dead. It's killed? The, what? Yeah, the battery what you gone. do? Hell if I know. I don't the battery. <laughs> and then in later, whatever. But, um, we, we tested it with both batteries, and... The cycle on this is just yeah. really low. It's, we'll hook it up with the battery bad. from that one so you can right. see what it does. Um, now, on both guns, you're gonna get gonna get some extra paperwork and some obvious equipment. Oh yeah, and 155. Yeah. Same price as that gun. Right. Same price, and you're getting the D boys with a full actual metal upper receiver, an actual scar lower. Whereas this one is based off the M4, the M4 anyway. we have confirmed it is an M4 because we have an M4 lower here. Um, same exact thing. Yeah. Same selector switch, same points where it hooks up to. I mean, to scale. It's just an M4 that's modified to look like a scar. Yeah. Cheap plastic one too. Um, the JLS is going to come with a full size manual. <laughs> no, it's just one page. That's all it is. It's a uh, manual. Just a battery and charger. Uh, the battery is 1150 milliamp, 8.4 volt. The D-Boys itself is going to come with a manual, um, charging instruction, battery charger, as well as, like I said, this barrel extension. Now, the interesting about this barrel extension is the flash hider is not threaded at all. Yeah, it's a, it's a, uh, it still has 14 millimeter threads on it, but obviously these plastic flash hiders are not meant for All right, use. so if, if you get a... shipping. Yeah. You can get this barrel extension, swap it out, and put a metal one on here, then you can... Yeah, so that's so. cool. That's a nice little extra length, so you can have it any way you want. Right, just to give you. Of course, I've got Never mind. Stuck in just don't bother. <laughs> <laughs> um, overall, the, this gun it, it's a nice gun. 155 isn't bad for a full scale. That's, scar. Yeah, it's still the same as D Boys and Board and all the rest of them. So exactly. you're still getting your money's worth on that. Same gearbox, I believe. Yeah, it's version two. Same version two gearbox, so you can easily get upgrade parts or swap out the whole gearbox if you want, for that matter. Right. So, like I said. Version 2 gearbox, easily readable. Proprietary version 2 gearbox, not easy, <laughs> easily to find. So, um, when you're looking at scars, keep these things in mind. Uh, quality versus affordability, but when you have the same price... Yeah, that's kind of the thing that trumps me. I was like, what? Because yeah. I guess they're, they're not really used to making full-size AGs, and I would just call this an L bag. The, 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 how fast this thing fired is pretty much an and, and you'll you'll see it when we do the rate of fire test. No you. power to AG. Yeah. yeah. You you'll you'll see it. It's just not it's not there. It's not there at all. No, no. If you're looking for a performer, go with the D boys. Um but let's go ahead and get them in the range, show them what they can do or can't do. Can't do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the JLS. See the D boys performed admirably. <laughs> very, very well. Uh, had close to 400 FPS, about 380. 380, average about 380, and about 12 and a half per second, which is pretty, pretty good for starting AG in general. Absolutely, especially, especially on an A4. I mean, 
Yeah, on an A4, regular A4. Yeah, that was, that's great. Uh, the JLS. Yeah. On the same battery, shot seven rounds a second. About six and a half, roughly speaking. And it shot about 360, which is fine, but, yeah, but we had it in single. And it's still fought full. Shot yeah, full I'm, sure, well, I'm not sure why. I don't know why. Uh, we, I mean, we haven't opened it up, obviously. We're just, you know, reviewing but it. That's, that's out of the box. That's kind of yeah. bad. Out of the box performance is not there to be spoken of. To be comparative, obviously not worth it. Um, this, uh, I think that goes for Cypher and I, it's getting a three. Yeah. Um, three. It, it works as an, as an airsoft gun. Oh, no doubt it shoots BBs at a rate of, you know, 360 feet per second. At a rate of six and a half rounds a second. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I would call give it a wall hanger award, but I wouldn't even want to hang this on my wall. Yeah, so let's get the Golden Turd Award. Golden Turd. You're going to go Golden Turd of the Year. Ha <laughs> ha! Congratulations, <Huzzah>! JLS. <laughs> Uh, so that's out of the way now. Now we can get on to the D-Boys. Yes, the D-Boys. Which performed very quite well. Yeah, uh, like I said, 380 feet per second. Picatinny reel on top. That's With numbering. With, yeah. Numbering on top and everything. It's amazing. Full scale. This one actually, the, the, the JLS yeah, looks to be smaller, smaller scale. Yeah. How or why they did that? I, I don't know exactly what scale. I know JLS does a lot of three-quarter scale. Yeah, because they do a lot of low-power guns right. and springs and but, whatever. But... Get away from me, man. Yeah. It's just... <laughs> yeah. Is this full travel cycling at? Oh, it's just amazing. Most guns don't even do that. They just yeah. go... Kick. Yeah, this, this gun, by far, impressed me. I mean... That for 155 bucks? Psh, yeah, this, so this is a great price. I mean, I, I'm going to give this an 8. Yeah. Call it an 8, yeah. Yeah. But the same as their... I mean, it still uses the same system as their M4. So it's just dressed like a scar. Exactly. Which is nice, because it's not an M4. <laughs> Scars are sexy. Yeah, pretty good looking. Yeah. The folding, extendable, adjustable cheek wrist, which is all operational. The sights are pretty good. These are accurate to the, the real steel. All adjustable, up and down, side to side. It's really nice addition to that. I mean, all the cosmetics, I mean, you got this little... Other than that, which we don't really... Under, I don't know why that happened. I think they painted this or something afterwards, because... Yeah, it's, the, color, the color doesn't match the rest of the polymers, why. but... Who, I think because knows? they must have made this for their M4s before. Most had, likely, yeah. And this is the newer... Matching color order. for this. Yeah, yeah exactly. Style. Um, overall, I mean, so we're giving this an 8 and the JLS a 3. So take your pick, but uh, just remember, when you when you buy something... You buy cheap, you buy twice, as the, they always say. <laughs> the problem is, you're not buying cheap with that. Yeah, well, I mean, this is cheap too, but it's obviously... Yeah. For you're not going to have near as many problems. When you have... Now. It's like comparing baby crap to apples. Yeah. What would you rather put in your mouth? of maggot-infested oranges. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. So, um, by far, if you're looking for a scar, check out the D-Boys. Uh, there are other manufacturers out there, but if you're looking for a good mid-level, uh, something you can do upgrades so on. Something in the 150 range. This is really good in general. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of other guns in that range. D-Boys offers most of their guns about that price. Exactly. Right? But this has got the full metal upper and the full... I mean, this is integrated over here. This isn't even attached to it. This is just part of the gun, which is nice. Yeah, it's, it's not it's bolted on. on. Yeah, the, that one, it was kind of... More uh, sling points, more accurate design. So, overall... Serial numbers, just because. Uh, ambidextrous mag release. Right, exactly. It's just, all the way around, better gun. Yeah. So, for this review, uh, we are the Airsoft Gurus, Dean Donovan. Cyber. Cyber. Uh, remember, Airsoft's not a crime. Play hard, play safe. High quality. <laughs> Buy expensive.